Squad, squads, back with another video. And today we are looking at some glorious, beautiful, uh, sexy fly controllers from Flycolor Innovation. Back in the end of March, beginning of April, middle of April time, Flycolor reached out to me and said, we know you like to crash drones, you might need some new electronics, would you like us to send you some? And I said, because I like to crash drones, that'd be a fantastic idea. So here we are. They very, very kindly sent me two complete stacks and two ESCs. So the main stack that was sent was the X Tower 2, which I have placed into the Super Mario or the Mario build from Speedy B. And this video is going to focus mainly on that, that build, that tune, and how we get the most out of it. And I'll include some tuning settings. I am trying to apply to Beta FPV, no, sorry, to Beta Flight to add my settings as presets so you can just select on them and away you go i'm just not quite au fait fully with the process just yet the undoubted star of the show when it comes to the stacks is the x tower 2 and feature wise it's absolutely stacked so first of all we have a usb-c connector now some people might think well yes Quads, but we've had USB-C connectors for decades. Unfortunately, not all flight controller manufacturers go with USB-C. Even today, I received a flight controller from another manufacturer, which was their top-end flight controller, and it still had USB micro on it. And I, I just looked at it and I died inside a little bit, I've got to be honest. This also provides you with Bluetooth programming, which for the ability when you're in the field to be able to just turn on your phone, turn on Bluetooth and adjust some settings is so underrated. It's got multiple decks. So we've got a 3.3, a 5 volt and a 10 volt. We've got outputs for RX, VTX camera, buzzer, LED, etc. It's It really is stacked with innovation. And that's probably why they're called black color innovation. Uh, and obviously we've got a barometer built in. Now there is a problem and I need you to sit down and I need you to settle around and listen to the problem that fly color have. And that is, I'm a guy who is from the North of England. Now, my American and European brethren will be asking themselves, but quads, why are you telling us where you're from? And the answer to that, for anybody who lives in the UK, is very simple. I am from the northwest of England, which means I am tight with my money. My wallet only sees the light of day once, maybe twice a year, at Christmas and birthdays. That thing is locked in my pocket with chains, maybe not whips, um, padlocks, the works. So... When it comes to buying a flight controller in the past, I've always gone with what is the cheapest. And I've gone with things like, should I name chat them? Maybe, maybe not. I've gone with things like Speedy Bee as an example. Now, the Speedy Bee stack for what you get suggests that you're getting a lot of value for money. And that's why I've gone with it in the past. And then Flycolor sent me this. And I'll be honest with you, Flycolor, I can never forgive you again because you've cost me so much money, you've probably ruined FPV for me. No, jokes aside, what it has done is shown me the difference in the budget stacks and the premium stacks. And first of all, the tunability is I can get so much more out of a tune with this X Tower 2 stack. I am going to do a follow-up video in, I don't know how long, because I'm waiting for, I'm constantly waiting for parts at the moment. But I'm going to do a follow-up video with the other stack that they've sent me which is the TR2, or TR20, sorry. And that essentially looks like, to the untrained eye, pretty much the same, minus maybe one or two features, but it's a 30 by 30, uh, sorry, it's a 20 by 20 mount, whereas the X-Tower 2 is a 30 by 30 mount. Spec-wise, it seems to be the same 60 amp ESC, BL Heli 32, F7. I don't think it has Bluetooth though, but we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at that in the future. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this video out now, really, because, like I say, it was probably the middle of April, towards the end of April, I think, when I received it, and we are now in June. The problem I've had, ultimately, is the weather has been absolutely trash. I've been waiting for parts to 
come in. I've been waiting for motors to come in. I've been waiting for frames to come in. And I just haven't devoted the time to it that it richly deserves because it really is a premium stack. And sure, I'm going to focus on the X Tower 2 mainly in this video, but we'll have a look at the other things that, that Fly Color have sent because I think, which one's this one? The Trinks G5 4 in 1 ESC, which again is a 60 amp BL Heli 32. 3 to 6 S am uh, sorry 3 to 6 S ESC is an absolute thing of beauty I don't how like, I'm, I'm used to like I say budget stacks budget ESCs budget flight controllers and then flight color come along and literally ruin FPV for me with some of the most stunning premium quality electronics that I have seen in FPV to date they also sent me the Trinx 24 in one as well uh, again same specs or 60 amp 3 to 6 BL heli 32 it, it looks premium it really does look premium and from what i can see to my untrained northern monkey stupid eye it's conformal coated as well out of the box as is the flight controller and stack of the x tower 2. The, the the level of premium quality that you're dealing with here i have to be honest i had a friend who said to me can you build me an fpv drone so i said yeah of course and he's like oh, well don't really want to push the budget too much because i don't know if i'm going to like fpv can i get into it i don't so i recommended at the time go with a budget stack if that same friend came to me today or any friend came to me today and said quads i'm looking to build or spec a drone or, or build me a drone or whatever what electronics would you recommend in it now the speedy b stack or a budget stack you're looking at around about 50 english pound I can see now on a website in front of me, I don't know what the website actually is, but the X Tower 2 is £89. So it, it's, it's what, 40% cheaper? Sorry, 40% more expensive. But what you get in for that 40%, you get in the three becks, you get in the, the better ESC because the, the budget one's generally a BL Heli S. You get in Bluetooth, which some of the budget ones have only maybe one or two you're getting co-formal coated out of the out of the box so straight away you have that extra layer of of protection i'm sure once you start to apply solder and burn things through and you may have to just reapply it where you've actually soldered your motors etc in but out of the box the majority of it is co-formal coated and there's very little you need to do and even if you decide not to do anything with it the rest of it where you haven't soldered it is then waterproofed but the setup out of the box is dead easy it does have some plugs on it as well if you didn't want to solder and really really coolly is we all know okay th th there's a fact in fpv the led lights make your quad faster and makes you a better pilot well this has four independent led channels so you can i, I guess you could actually program it so it flashes the beacons like a, a real aeroplane so you could pretend to be a real pilot so buy this stack because one it will make you a real pilot it will make you super cool but only if you subscribe to squadding quads link below hit like subscribe leave a comment share this video help us grow much love so i'm going to put some details on screen now as to what the tune is that i have applied to the combination of the x tower 2 the mario and the motors i'm using on this are the velux version 3 from t-motor i've gone through around about 10 flights to tune it to where i think is the perfect tune for it there potentially could be room for improvement here and there like i said the difficulty at the moment with the uk weather is purely i can i can aim to do something on one day and the weather decides nope you're not doing anything today quads it's gonna rain all day and it, it's a real dampener, if you pardon the pun, and a real downer at the minute, actually trying to get reviews and things done. So we're doing them as and when we can. And ideally, I would have liked to have had this out a lot sooner, but the weather just hasn't played ball. I've got a couple of frames coming that I'm looking at putting the TR20, 20 by 20 stack in. So the, the, I think, is that TR20, does that stand for drinks? 2020? I'm going to guess it probably does. Quality information and research as provided by squadding quads as always so as always with my reviews um it comes down to should you buy it now on screen you've seen the visuals of what it looks like 
and you've also seen how it flies after it's been tuned. What I will say as well is if you're one of these pilots who thinks, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to tuning, what? Oh. If you fly it on the stock beta flight tune, it flies beautifully. That's how good this is. So don't worry too much. But if you found this video and you are one of those pilots, copy across the settings that I've put up because it will make it fly even better. So should you buy it? The, the answer, I try and provide a negative at least or an objective negative at least once in a review video because I don't want the video just being oh this is amazing because it's been sent to me and blah 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 because I don't want to lose the integrity that I feel that we've grown together as a channel and a community the difficulty with this is it really does do everything now I am going to say there is a couple of negatives so first of, first of all obviously it's going to cost you 40% more now if you're a pilot that crashes and destroys your stuff on a regular basis that 40% more is going to add up over time however the question is will it last longer than the cheaper and I'm not going to name anybody but the cheaper electronics that is an unequivocal yes so potentially you may get a few more flights out of it before you destroy it if you're the type of you will have a premium stack which you very soon are going to start struggling to get hold of because they're not going to license any new escs what i think is going to happen is people like fly color etc will now move to am32 so they'll provide the same quality premium product that this is but in AM32 form, I suspect is what's going to happen anyway. But we'll just have to wait and see. So they, they are a couple of, I don't really want to call them negative points, but they're a couple of points to consider when purchasing this. If you're somebody that just wants the cheapest of the cheap because you're going to smash it into a wall every weekend, perhaps this might not be the, the, the stack for you. However, what I will say is I smashed my Super Mario, sorry, my Mario frame with these electronics into a tree at full speed. And I have burnt ESCs and flight controllers doing that in the past. This, however, shows no ill effects and has flown numerous times ever since it actually got stuck in the tree it was that big of a hit so overall i think without any shadow of a doubt this is absolutely something if you're in the market to purchase a new flight stack esc flight controller this is absolutely one that i think you should be looking at and i think even my tight northern hands are now going to be looking at the more premium side of things rather than the budget side of things because although the budget side of things have done okay for me i have had plenty of them burn out that's not happened with this so ultimately i think the way to go is the more premium side and i've got to be honest fly color not only provide the best looking stacks some of the best features on the stacks but those little extras like bluetooth and like co-formal coating it that's just the level that you you want companies to sort of think okay let's how can we extend it how can we take it a bit better how can we make it to the next level and fly color have done that so i'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to purchase one and let me know in the comments below what stack you're running and whether you'd consider one of these until next time you've been amazing i've been quads peace late nights to refine the technology soaring to new heights from brush to brushless a constant quest